From there, we head up to Kansas City to check on the Chiefs at Arrowhead. And they've got the lead over the visiting Denver Broncos. John Mechie, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. And they lead the visiting Browns in that one at halftime. Aaron Jones, a touchdown run in that first half. With that, let's take a look at the next-gen stats for Buffalo in that first half. And it was important for them to stop on the right foot. And they've done just that, thanks to a very slow outing by their passing offense thus far. But meanwhile, for the Titans, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary, as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Fields it right around the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, Lynch fighting. He fumbles. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. And they came out of the locker trailing. Not a good way to start this second half with their first drive. Can't imagine that the discussion at halftime encompassed this at all. In fact, I'm sure they talked about, okay, kind of wipe the slate clean, start the second half, and let's go out and play the way we know that we can. That's not a great example of it. They didn't envision that. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. Steps away to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. This defense coming out after the half, and if that plays any indicator, Charles, maybe a little refreshed and refocused here for quarters three and four. Yeah, they did really well on that one. That's exactly what they need to keep doing if they want to change their fortunes in this game. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. From the gun, it's Allen. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. Let's make this one simple. What a catch. Especially the finishing part of getting his feet inbounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Third and long, it's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. A great play there with now three week one touchdowns. And the Bills take the force fumble and convert it into six points. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. Last time out, they had the fumble that led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. One yard yard. To throw again on second down. Pick it. He finds Lynch, it's complete. Finding room at midfield. And out across midfield, down to the 45. 
It's a gain of 35. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. On first and 10, it's Pickett. And caught by Henry. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They'll throw again with Pickett. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. First and 10, here's Pickett. He finds his man, complete. It's Lynch. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. A first down carry for Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Pick it back to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Bills are going to have it here at their own 15. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here we do have an injury on the play. We always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline corner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. And he will find his way forward to about the 23-yard line. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception. And the offense coming out. He told us, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first down. And now they'll throw with Allen. This is caught by Robinson. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. That's the 30 to the 32. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he's going to have a Bills first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. Robinson's got it. Oh, what a juke into space. 
They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he's able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. On the counter, this is Singletary. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. His throw incomplete. That's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Here's Allen. And a throw there going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in the face there, partner. That is a rare completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's Logan Cook now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And it's say crosses at the 11 yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this one. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Henry will get it. He's been... And now a fumble. The ball's out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. That's what they've done all game long. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way. The fumble returns for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Taking in at the three. And makes it across the 20 as these guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. Looking for a bounce back, had the fumble a moment ago that went for a touchdown the other direction. See if he can get back in rhythm. And you have to be very careful about having too quick of a hook with really good players. I did a guy's game in high school where he fumbled three times in the first quarter, finished over 300 yards on the night, later in deep in the NFL. If you got a talented back, give it back to him. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw, pick it. Going up top, and it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On now is the Titans punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Runs over it. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And incomplete on the deep Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing now is Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. 
And that little deke, the juke move that we saw, able to give him the first down yardage before he's brought down. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. To the air on first down with Pickett. And that would get be off target and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Pickett will look to throw it here. Fires the outlet and completes it to Harris. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Pick it to throw on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Titans. A big play there. 70 yards. And the Titans get a bit closer. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this now an 11 point deficit. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And here come the Bills. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Knocks the tight end making the catch. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. On the give, this is their fullback. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he gets this up past the 30. I don't know about you, partner, but on second and inches, a lot of the times I'm leery about the offensive guys thinking about taking a shot downtown. Instead, they just hand it to the big man and let him rumble forward for a first down. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Allen, middle of the field, it's Robinson. Again to the fullback on the dive. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Pryor has it complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. And he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. To the air. Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted him or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack of finding his way open and completing the connection. Here's Allen on first and ten. Finding Knox there, complete. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll make it second down. Allen now looks to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Allen going to throw. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 23. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Now Allen. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. They'll give this to Singletary running right. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get it behind the line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now an inside draw. This is their fullback. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. He gets a good chunk of yards there, eight all told. But they're still looking at a fourth down. This is where, you know, fourth quarter, you got the lead, you give it to the big guy. Defensively kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't want to tackle him right now this late in the game. Well, you say that with accusatory tones. I mean, you know, but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, four quarters worth of pounding, and now late in the game, here comes that big guy coming at you, and a lot of guys are wondering where they want to come up and make that tackle at this stage of the game. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. 
The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. To throw on second and ten. Pick it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Lynch. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. First and ten, here's Pickett. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Julian Love. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. With the points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. It's not always how you start. It's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along. If you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Being chased out left. Allen, nifty footwork. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. And that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Well, now a carry here for their fullback. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I don't think that play had a chance to succeed right from the start. Unfortunately, they couldn't call that one back. The defense was well aware of what they were trying to get done. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. And now they'll throw with Allen. This is caught by Robinson. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four to throw with Allen. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Kobe Bryant. And the Titans are going to take possession of the football. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And my goodness, another interception. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. 
Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough, but man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it. I think about it awfully hard, but also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually playing him out of the game. So you have to know your player, you have to know the situation. Allen. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Amani Hooker. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. On first and 10, it's Pickett. And that's complete to the right side. It's Marshall. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Looking to throw again on second down. Pick it. And now here's another interception. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Singletary to get the drive started. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 68 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. Got to figure now after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Here now is second and ten again for the 41. On the handoff, running left, Singletary. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Allen to throw it. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And the Titans are right back in this football game. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years, but here we go. Throwing again on second down. Pick it. And this one completes a read. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Charles, he's got over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. To throw again on second down. Pick it. And this one too low. The Titans on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This time they face a third and two. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. <coughs> From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. A 
minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Looking to throw here. Pick it. And it's a Titans touchdown. Chigakakro from 10 yards out. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. They get one more as the extra points have been good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This one fielded at the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Singletary again. And some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11 now. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and 10. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opening. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for Buffalo, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to New England to take on the Patriots. Meanwhile, for Tennessee, they go down to defeat here in the opener.